Welcome to Revolutionary Motion, where we show you tennis from a different perspective. Today we're going to talk about how you can complete your loop on the serve most efficiently without making it too complicated for yourself. So if we're taking a look at the loop, overall the loop is obviously supposed to start from here and you're trying to get your racket to move up as much as possible using your elbow and your arm as a consequence of upper body rotation. Now, if we're taking a look at the loop a little bit more closely, we can see that it resembles the motion a cowboy uses when they're throwing their lasso. Because what cowboys do is they have to turn the lasso, obviously, to then throw it far, but if they don't turn it, the loop will not stay open that the lasso creates. Now, the same thing happens here when we're serving, right? We're starting from up here and we're trying to, you know, throw that lasso around so we can then throw the lasso up as high as possible. So if you're thinking about it that way, it makes it much simpler to let the racket follow that lasso movement. So when we're taking our racket up here, what we're trying to do is we're trying to drop our racket behind our head, make it move a little bit behind our right upper arm, and then let it snap up. Now this motion obviously is all caused by the upper body rotation, so it's very important that you don't just try to cause that motion with your arm without involving your whole upper body or your torso. So what you want to do instead is you want to make sure that when you're standing sideways, you're starting the rotation up here at the same time as you're starting to drop your racket with that lasso motion. That will make sure that when your racket gets behind your upper arm, because of that upper body rotation, your racket will now explode upwards towards the contact point rather than keeping the swinging going this way and losing control over your swing. So remember, you're trying to throw that lasso as soon as the racket gets behind your upper arm so you can then get up towards the contact point into the highest contact point possible. Now, in order to throw that lasso correctly, we got to make sure that the arm, the upper arm and the elbow snaps up first so we have more power so we can throw that lasso further. So now if we take a look at the motion when I'm trying to take a serve, you can clearly see how that lasso motion comes into play. Now really watch how from the trophy position my racket moves in this circular motion that the lasso would move in and then really snaps up towards the ball and then we can watch on a second serve the same thing one more time. How you can really imagine that cowboy throwing that lasso as high up as possible after the trophy position happens and the ball is being hit. One more time, try to keep in mind you're trying to throw that lasso as far up as possible and not as far forward as possible just to make sure that that arm really snaps up into a high contact point and gives you a lot of power on your serve. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you guys soon.